Oh, hello, and welcome to the Polynesian Village Studio Room Tour. Bloopers! Welcome to the Room Tour, Room 3948. I'm your host, Dave K. Let's check out this room. Starting you off right inside the entrance here, you can see the door that connects us to the suite on our left. We won't be using this door, but you can see it also has a mirror. Oh, hello. And in case you're noticing that black spot on my arm there, just, just watch that video, or maybe watch the intro to this video, and you'll find out where I got that. It was the cabinet, the little box that I crawled into. Across from that door on our left, we have so much to see ahead of us, including two bathrooms. That's right, two bathrooms and a beautiful lobby and a balcony, don't forget that. Starting us off with bathroom number one. It does have a beautiful sliding door, just like bathroom number two, only sliding doors up in this place. Now these sliding doors don't have locks and I do like locks on my doors, bathroom and otherwise, but that's the way it is here at the Polynesian. Once you step inside the bathroom, you have the toilet, the shower, and this beautiful mirror right here. There are not one, but two light switches here in the room, one for that shower area and one for this sink area. You have under the sea artwork right here and plenty of cabinet space. This seems like less cabinet space than the other bathroom, which you'll see, but it's still very nice. The countertop looks a bit different as well. You'll see kind of a rocky granite style countertop with your soaps, of course, for use in the shower. The styling here on the sink is a nice sleek style as well. Not quite as rounded as the boardwalk, but still no sharp edges on it. And this mirror here has a nice bright feel to it as well. Light on both sides of where I would look at you in the mirror. That's where I turn the lights on and off in the room. Ends up being right here on the mirror. Look at the stylization, the wood carvings that make the outline of that mirror very nicely styled here at the Polynesian Village Studio. Now the other part of the bathroom. You've got the toilets and there's your toilet paper roll. You've got a couple of towel racks for clean towels and maybe to hang your towels out to dry. And of course, motion sensors for the fan. I think I just walked under it, whoops. Here is shower number one. That's right, there's two showers you'll see in the other bathroom. Look at this curtain. This is a curtain shower. If you prefer the door shower, you'll like the other one. You've got the blue that wraps around like the water waves wrap around horizontally in this bathroom and a place to put your soaps. You also have a bar to get in the bathtub over there. This is the only bathtub in the shower room. So if you want a bath, this is your bath right here. But you do have that handle to make it hotter or colder. In addition, you have that shower head you can utilize and the drying rack for your swimsuits or wet gear. And that's bathroom number one. Take a look at the second bathroom. I'm gonna call this the no toilet shower room. Look at this bright blue wall on our left here. Plenty of space to hang your towels and the light switch and fan switch maybe on the left side. Oh, two light switches. There it is beautiful tile style floor and you've got your drawers dressers cabinets whatever you like right here you can pull out these different drawers not the top one but the bottom two come out so you can store your bathroom belongings you also have these open drawers on either side here with a towel for us a hair dryer and a trash can plenty of space to store your stuff here in bathroom two and take a look around here at all the beautiful items you can find in the bathroom. You've got, of course, the Kleenex right here. You've got your soap bar with a little soap dish. That'll appreciate the soap dish. And look at the container for this Kleenex right here, like a leather or a faux leather styling, very much like that. And you've got a countertop right here. Maybe put your toothbrush up here and put something else beneath it, which is a nice multifunctional space. Your soaps and hand towels, hand towel refills and the bar for your hand towel, yes. Don't forget your sink, sink, sink. It's got these little handles on here which are flat rounded, but they're also kind of stylized and maybe tiki style going on there. Don't forget the full length mirror going on. You've got the lights on either side, a light right here and a light right there. I think those come on when we turn the light switch off. Yes, see that's, that's the light switch right there in addition to the lights above us. 
In addition, you've got your personal mirror right here, mega mirror, as I like to call it, mega mirror. In addition, two mini mirror, regular size, Dave, and you've got your omega size, Dave, omega size GoPro, yeah, hi. Stepping in the shower, this part to me is a little confusing. I'd imagine the door would normally open on this side, but you can see the bolts are over there, so the door opens on the right side. It only takes a couple of attempts and then you get it down. The towel rack, in addition to the ledge, don't trip on the ledge as you enter the shower. Love the stylization of the shower. I prefer it of the two. You've got the blue water waves as your backdrop, in addition to the brown stylized floor here, the rocks and larger rocks. You've got your back seat here if you want to grab a seat and a soap ledge. So let's say I were to take a seat right here in the shower. I can use the shower, sit back and relax while I shower. You gotta love a sitting shower, right? Don't forget you'll need to be able to turn on the shower with the hot and cold on lever right here. Turn that switch this way and you're on the way. And this one I imagine is for changing the heads of the shower. Maybe my favorite part of the shower, in addition to the stylization, is the handheld shower functionality is not alone in here. No, you also have the overhead rain style shower head. What? So you can like your rainy shower or you like your level flathead shower. Both options for you here. That concludes a bathroom or two. The special thing about this resort, two bathrooms, two showers. Love that. Let's check out the rest. You also get free rides when you stay in the Polynesian Village Studio. Across from those bathrooms, you've got the closet area here. The closet area across from the bathrooms features a lot of what you may have seen before, including, look at that, a laundry basket, extra pillows and blankets, an ironing board, an iron itself, I flipped those, a luggage stand, and here's that kind of ground level safe. So overall, nice closet, good size, put whatever you want in there. And you've seen the closet, you've seen the bathrooms, here's the sink, then we'll proceed to the lobby. The sink features a mini fridge here. The main sink area has your mini fridge. Unfortunately, no freezer space in this mini fridge. So if you're looking for food, then you may want to consider a different mini fridge, or at least for freezer stuff. You also have a couple of different drawers here, your trash can and recycling bin. Under there, you've got your sink directly above, sponge if you want to do some dishes paper towel racking, and toaster, in addition to your coffee maker and your microwave. Even more drawers here by your microwave for your disposable plates, cups, utensils, and whatever is overhead here looks like maybe a cup holder. We discovered the locks in the restroom at the back. You have to fully close the door, and then there's a switch back there which prevents you from opening the door because this kind of hits that metal piece right there. Very clever how they've set up the locks. Unique, but I like it. Now in the living area here, so much to see, including my cell phone, but ignore that and just see the rest. Over by the bed, you have a nightstand on either side with these drawers, with some phone chargers, with these lamps. Let me show you the left side here. On the left side, a drawer, and in this drawer is the Holy Bible. There's no Bible, it's empty. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> In the drawer is absolutely nothing, but it's there for your space. And you've got two USB ports and two wall outlets. You also have this lamp right here. Click that switch on the side, it's off. Click it again, it's back on. That's how lamps work. Not to mention, oh, oh, that light is above the bed. Oh, it's your bed light. Oh, I like that. And this is probably the same on the opposite side. Yeah, see that? Control the brightness, the strength of your bed night light. This is another, yet another, pull-out couch. You can see the two levers beneath the couch for you to be able to pull out that mattress and enjoy the beautiful second bed here in the room. But there's three. There's one more to see. On this side, you have the table dresser. This is really multifunctional. You know, you can fit humans in there, you know, if their names are Dave. Or you just put your stuff in there, whatever works for you. It also rolls conveniently on the ground because it has to move out of the way of this sofa thing here. Just now noticing the stylization of the floor as well from the distance here on the camera, definitely looks like a tiki style, which I like. And this little workspace. I love a good workspace in a room, right? I'm starting to really value the importance of that. You've got your chairs on either side, set up your computer or eat your breakfast right here with our maybe a little Menehune Man lamp. 
Hello, Mr. Lamp. Yes, bring us the light. Click that, turn that on. The light is in there. The sun blind on top of it. That's how lights work here. And we got a mirror as well. That's right, a mirror. Across from the mirror, of course we have a television. Of course my phone is still there, because I haven't moved it yet. There's an ice bucket. But, what is this? Oh yes, it's a third bed. Oh! This is your kid's bed, like we've seen in a few of those other resorts, the boardwalk and otherwise, except this is the best one, because it has Lilo and Stitch. Gotta love Lilo and Stitch here, designed on that back wall of the bed. If you like your Polynesian style theming, you might like this one. Now, it's balcony time. Wait a second, I was taking pictures of Lilo and Stitch when I noticed this light above Lilo and Stitch. What is this? Right here? Oh ho ho! A light switch hidden in the Lilo and Stitch bed. I'm just noticing behind our Menehune lamp friend as well, extra chargers, USB, and wall outlet. So much to observe in the details. Now stepping outside through the red curtain, which hopefully you saw closed. This is what it looks like. Beautiful view through the window, but I want to show you firsthand, of course. So you turn off this lock here, remove the lock, and step outside. Two locks to remove, and then step outside. Closing that ginormous glass window, and we're outside. You can hear thunder and lightning, but you can also see and feel the beautiful weather and beautiful views. Starting with the far left corner here, there's a chair. Looks like a far more large and luxurious chair than those previous resorts we stayed at. And same here, look how much space there is between the table and two chairs. Fantastic amount of space on your balcony. Looking around at the view from the balcony has to be one of the favorite things about this resort. I know it's not the Kilimanjaro safaris or amazing ocean fireworks, but it's just so relaxing. So peaceful, so ambient, with the flowers on the trees. You've got a beautiful view of the pool in the back. And I'm told if we look in this direction, way back there, you can see the castle in the Magic Kingdom. That's right, right through here, the castle in the Magic Kingdom is visible. This camera has almost no zoom, but it's back there, kind of behind these trees. Just like, just like right above my finger, pretty much. Let me know if you can see it. It's beautiful to see from the eye perspective though, just to relax, be able to enjoy the aesthetic of the Polynesian, the pool view, the flowers, the nature, and the relaxation, calming music. Pretty quiet in terms of music. I hear some soft lobby music, I think, playing though. Overall, truly a amazing, relaxing, fantastic, fascinating resort to spend your day, your evening, your weekend, your week. I couldn't imagine spending a whole month here. That would be amazing, <laughs> but that too. And you may be asking, Dave, how can I get to stay in a room like that? How can I maximize the bang for my buck when I go to Disney, make sure I'm able to make the most of my limited vacation dollars to maximize the thrill of my vacation? Well, everyone is different when they plan their vacation, but you can find someone who can help you get exactly what you want out of your vacation. If you check out Vacation with the Magic in the link in the description of my video, Gordon can help you plan the dream vacation for you. Maximize the bang for your buck, stay at your favorite resorts for the best time of year, or whatever else you might be looking for. He can help you learn more about what might be right for you. So make sure you click the link in the description of this video to get your free quote today and plan your next dream vacation. And that concludes our room tour here at the Polynesian. This is one of my favorite resorts. I know we don't have a freezer in our mini fridge. Some of those other amenities aren't quite the same, but I love Captain Cook's. I love the vibe of the Polynesian. I'd love to spend more time in the actual Polynesian, Hawaiian Islands and otherwise. So I really enjoy and appreciate the atmosphere here. One of my favorite resorts. Thanks so much for being a part of the fun with me today. And I'd like to give a special thanks in today's video to the subscribe button. Subscribe button, if you're not already clicked, if you're red, click that subscribe button, turn it gray, make it say subscribed, and that makes the subscribe button feel so much better. Thanks for being a part of the fun with me today, and I'm looking forward to sharing more adventures with you, new style, 
so soon. Until next time, make sure you check out the full day here at the Polynesian, by the way, and let me know what you think of that. Until next time, play on. Take a look at the second bathroom. Don't forget, you need to be able to turn on the shower. You've got hot and cold with that hot and on switch. Don't forget, you need to be able to turn on the shower. You've got your hot and cold with the on lever right here. Kind of turn sideways. Oops. <laughs> that shouldn't be like that. Open it or should I? What would look better? It, what, what are you going for? Is it music or is it just like... I'm just going to be like, oh, hello and welcome to the room. Tour. That's pretty good. I, <laughs> maybe I'll do like a, a little look around and then I'll come over and open the box. You can open it? Yeah. Is that, does that work? I think so. Oh, hello, and welcome to the room tour. Oh, hello, and welcome to the room tour. Even more drawers here by the microwave for your re... We won't be using this door, but you can see... You've got a very typical... Check out our full day here at the Polynesian in today's full vlog adventure. You should see that in the cards or on the end screen. It's a, it's a different video. Play on. You also get free rides when you stay in the Polynesian Village studio. Just, oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> Bloopers! Sorry, sorry. Did you know they also have attractions in your Polynesian Village studio room? Yeah. You ride the, the box. Oh, oh, I'm God. so sorry. I'm so sorry. I can't. The chair, the You're table good. pushed it. I'm so sorry. You got plenty.